Hey guys, Dr. Nathan Warren here from DrsWarren.com and I wanted to take a minute and go over one of the biggest things that I deal with in not only my clinical practice but on a daily basis with uh, patient and clients and that's called generational toxicity. I get asked the question all the time, you know, my kid is only two or he's three or he's five years old, how could they be having so many of these health issues? And one of the answers that I think we need to address and we really need to have the conversation about are the toxins that are passed down from mother to baby. So there's a few different studies that I want to make sure I go over uh, in this video. And so the first one was actually a study that was funded and, and done by the NIH, the National Institute of Health. And what they did is they examined the baby teeth uh, of these infants. And what they did to, to really rule out any type of genetic issue is they looked at twins specifically. And then what they did is they looked at the amount of exposure uh, of things like lead for example, and heavy metals to these kids and their risk of autism. And you saw the risk of autism go up, the more exposure uh, to these heavy metals specifically lead in their teeth. And so again, this is another example, well, where the heck did that lead come from uh, in these infants? It didn't come from direct exposure after birth from our environment, it came from mother, right? So again, to no fault of, of, of a mother's own, it's literally an issue that's getting passed down from generation to generation. And we absolutely have to address these things. Now, there's been other studies that show similar things. So there was a study that was actually performed by the Environmental Working Group, and they looked at umbilical cord blood specifically, and they found 200, over 200 plus uh, toxins that were going from mother to baby, and they saw very similar results across the board in all uh, you know test subjects. And so again, this is a big deal because we are facing you know this generation now is the most uh, toxic exposed generation that's ever lived on this planet. And so that is one of the biggest reasons we're facing some of this uh, health epidemics that we're facing in this country and around the world. Now it's not only lead, we also also have to look at things like mercury as well. So the two that I really want to talk about here, lead and mercury, we have to recognize there's a reason why these toxins are being passed down from mother to baby. Number one, looking at the lead, lead is stored in bones. Your body's intelligent and smart. So your body's saying, hey, I want to try to store it in a place that's away from my central nervous system, get it away from a, an area that it's the most toxic, so they store it in the bones. When is the most likely time that you're going to see, for example, a woman lose bone density? That's during pregnancy and post-pregnancy. And so you have two of the greatest areas that you're going to have exposure uh, to baby from toxins passed down from your mother, again, is going to be via pregnancy. So this is why we can see that toxins from our great-grandmother are actually affecting us today. And so when we look at people like, you know, my grandmother, for example, uh, and even my mother, they were a part of the lead generation. So specifically my grandmother, there was when lead was just in just about everything from paint to gasoline to everything. And so again, that lead exposure didn't just affect her. It was then passed down to my mother, which was then passed down to me. So if you look at my personal results from a heavy metal urine challenge test, my lead is off the chart because it's been passed down from generation to generation even though I may not never have you know physically touched a lot of lead in my lifetime it's been passed down and so this is something we have to be aware of mercury another study actually showed that the there was a direct link between the amount of mercury in a mother's mouth directly to the amount of mercury in baby's brain and so again this is another major red flag we know that mercury is lipophilic that means it loves fat Where's a major area of fat is going to be in the brain, about 72 to 75% of it. So we know there's major accumulation in the brain of mercury. So again, that can be passed down from generation to generation. So what are some of the main things I want you to take away from this? Number one, it can be passed down, uh, again, according to studies, around four generations, all right? So that means that, again, it bioaccumulates over time, which is one of the things I talk about here. 
It's not just your child's exposure to one thing, you know, one time. It builds up. So mercury, lead, aluminum, these things build up in the body and the toxic effects and toxic symptoms get worse based on this bioaccumulation. And so again, as we pass things, these things down generationally, we know their neurological effect on things like ADD, ADHD, and autism. So we have to make sure that we're aware of this. We also know that these decrease our good minerals. So that means things like zinc and manganese, it actually decreases these. It creates what's called mineral gaps inside of the body. And then also too, 200 plus toxins in umbilical cord blood alone going from mother to baby. This is important because in this I'm talking about lead and mercury, but that also includes things like BPA and plastics that we know damage hormones and damage the way uh, that our bodies actually function. And so again, that bioaccumulation creates these major toxic effects. So we have to make sure that we're aware of this. When's the best time to detoxify? a mother way before she's pregnant, right? So that's why we talk about, you know, again, making sure that you're getting teenagers and you're getting kids that are actually safely detoxifying in an appropriate manner using things like true binders to actually stimulate things like glutathione production and increasing the amount of minerals that your children are having. And again, utilizing safe, things to actually detox the body, like something like True Cellularly Detox, uh, which works very, very well. And again, we can actually change our future of our kids.